Oh, yes, indeed, Miss Zoe Brown. We, you know that we love interacting with and getting to know our viewers a little better. And this morning, like Zoe said, we are chatting with Alan Rudnicki, who has become one of our regular Sunrise Photo contributors for our weather report. So a very good morning to you, Mr. Alan. How are you? Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm actually very well this morning. I, I work 12-hour night shift. <laughs> Yeah, I gave for a bit of a dip this morning, but yeah, I'm very good. Wow, Eleanor. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? One way to make nature boys jealous. i got to say, I'm so, I, I, I want your office. <laughs> but listen, Robin, thank you so much, obviously, for sending in all those magic pictures that you do. You brighten up the studio. You brighten up my heart as well. And you're sharing it with them, Zanzi. Just puts an extra smile on everyone's face, man. But when did you actually start watching the show? And how long have you been watching? Um, well, basically, when you guys started. I oh, um, wow. can't really remember, yeah, but um, it was basically when you guys started, I started watching then. Uh, now and again, when I'm at, uh, not at home or not near the TV, I watch on YouTube. So, yeah, yeah. since, so since you guys started. He's long on, ago. Oh, day one. Day oh, one. Respect. The OG, Hello. the OG <laughs> coming through. Besides hearing your name every single time for the weather report, what have been some of your favorite segments or just maybe the memories that have stood out from you from the show from the first day that you watched it? Uh, anything to do with the cooking. Mm. I love cooking. I eat a lot. My <laughs> cooking skills aren't wonderful. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, I can burn rice. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, anything uh, you guys uh, can, are able to teach, then I, I try and cook. So yeah, the cooking is obviously uh, one of the better things for me. Um, I love the doggies. I love any animals. So of course your dogs put a good smile on the face in the morning, especially where, uh, before work. And all the presenters. It's just uh, you guys make everyone, I think, in uh, the whole country smile. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so listen, Alan, obviously I've got to, I, I've mentioned it before, but I've got to say it again. Your pictures are incredible. You really, really just brighten up the studio. But I've got to ask you, are you an actual trained photographer? Or is this just like a hobby of yours? That's something that you just picked up and love? Uh, no, I'm not trained at all. I'm, if you want to call it self-taught, so I'm completely self-taught. Um, I've got some friends who are photographers, I might ask for better advice, but I learned from day one, which is probably now about four years ago. And if I look back at my photos then to compare them to now, um, yeah, so I, I'm only an amateur, I do this as a complete hobby. Ah, you could have fooled us, eh? Yeah, we are here for the growth, we are here for the globe and all those pictures. Like uh, Ryan and I said, we have FOMO right now, we wish our office looked like yours, but maybe you can share with us how your morning looks like this morning. Okay, I'm just going to flip the screen, and you're more than welcome to come join me. Oh, where That's is That's exactly that? where I am. So this is a Bloberg Beachfront. Oh, um, wow. It's fairly dark, yeah. So Bloberg Beachfront. I'll sort of pan around a bit. And Ellen, has the sun currently the only one? Has the sun peeked through yet, or, or is, it, is it still about a, a ping? I'm going to turn around with. Behind me, there is a little bit of a U, and you should see a bit of the glare. Oh, yeah, there I can see that pre-burn. It's going to look like a magic sunrise. You're in the perfect spot for it. I'm assuming you're going to see Table Mountain light up from the sun when it does rise, as well as the sunrise itself. So you are primed for a beautiful picture, which I'm hoping you're going to send through to us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can see it. I can take a photo and then send it to you a bit later. Maybe of you um, in the yeah, water I can as well. Do that. Oh, wait for us. Wait for us. <laughs> we finish at 9 o'clock. We'll come get you there, okay? In our speedos. Well, not me. I'll just watch you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I'm sure this water at Blyberg's known to be cold, so um, I will film. I will not film myself going. If you want me to go in, I'll take a big dip, but I will not film it. <laughs> they, say, they say Blyberg is this cold. <laughs> really? Cold immersion. Yeah, Think of yeah. as cold immersion, you'll feel way better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, I'm probably the, there's probably two or three other people on the beach, so it's really quiet, just the sound of the waves. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's looking good. Oh, well, Alan, we're seeing more of your photos in the studio right now, and it is just lighting up our soul and making Jamie and I book the first Uber out of here when we're done. We'll probably see you on the beach. Definitely. I know the water, is, the water is cold, but it looks absolutely worth it, man. Thank you so much for, for tuning in and sharing your magic with us this morning. Uh, anytime. If you want me to wait here, I'll, I'll get some coffee, and uh, <laughs> if it's not too long, I'll hang around. <laughs> Again, a huge uh, I just got to show you one thing. 
Oh, yes, you please, please, one please thing do. Please do. Go ahead. Um, I'm trying to turn the phone around. Sorry. Where is he? The little doggy. There, it's the dog. Yeah, there's a the oh, dog there. Oh, it's following he, you. He's, it's, he's telling he you where to go. He actually came up to me. He actually came up to me, but now he's gone. Oh. He's gone with mummy. <laughs> he must uh, have they, recognized you from TV, Alan, and he saw you on Express and I, and he's like, oh, that's Alan. Yeah, dogs, <laughs> dogs does that now and again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, I worked night shift last night. I sped home quickly to put on some clothes. I might look a bit tired, but I think this fresh sea air is like sort of waking me up. But thank you very much for having me, and thank you for, well, on behalf of South Africa, for putting a smile on everyone's face in the morning. Ah, oh, man. Alan, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Thank you for so much for, for staying awake. I know you uh, have uh, been working around the clock, of course, like you mentioned, but we really do appreciate it. I know you're going to earn a beautiful little nap after this, but keep sending your pictures through. Yeah. And for you, Mzanzi, as well, keep following Alan's lead and share your beautiful pictures with us. And we want to thank you again for taking the time to catch up with us. And we are looking so, so forward to seeing more of your stunning photos, Alan. Oh, thanks so much. And you yes. guys have a good, uh, I think the sun's actually coming up, but you guys have a good uh, day. Thank you. Thanks again to everyone. Thanks to everyone. South Africa, of course, if you are an avid Expresso fan and have a story to tell, email us your details to expresso at cordova.tv. And who knows, we could be catching up with you next week right here on the show. Stick around. We have so much more magic coming your way.